The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Now we're asked to graph the function f of x equals negative one-third x minus one given a domain of all real numbers. Don't be thrown off by the function notation here. f of x equals negative one-third x minus one means the same thing as y equals negative one-third x minus one. So we can start things off in the same way that we started things off in the previous example by setting up a chart that we'll use to organize our information. Down the left side of the chart, we have our different values for x that we'll be plugging into the function. Down the right side of the chart, we have our different values for f of x that we end up with. And in the middle, we have the side of the function that contains the x, in this case, negative one-third x minus one. Notice, however, that if we choose the points one, zero, and negative one to plug into the function for x, we're going to end up with fractions for our f of x's. In order to avoid getting fractions in this problem, since the denominator of our fraction is three, I would go with multiples of three to plug in for x. So in other words, instead of choosing one, zero, and negative one, I would choose the values three, zero, and negative three. Plugging a three into the function for x, we have negative one-third times three minus one. So the threes cancel, and we have negative one minus one, which is negative two. Plugging a zero into the function for x, we have negative one-third times zero minus one, which is zero minus one, or negative one. And plugging a negative three into the function for x, we have negative one-third times negative three minus one. So the threes cancel, but notice that we still have two negatives in this first term. So we have positive one minus one, which is zero. So our points are three negative two, zero negative one, and negative three, zero. And graphing those points on a coordinate system, We have three negative two, zero negative one, and negative three zero. And again, notice these points form a line. So the graph of this function is the line that contains these three points.